Well, I'm back, everybody, after what seems like forever. I'm really happy uh, to be at a point in my life where I can get back to building and experimenting. And uh, I want to send a big thank you to all of my subscribers and especially my Patreons who've been supporting me uh, during this time that I have not been posting any videos. I've had uh, projects just sitting on my bench, uh, a lot of my tools packed away unorganized and I'm finally getting to a point where I can start to build and experiment again and I'm just looking forward to uh, sharing that experience with all of you here. In this video we're going to be building up a small tritium power pack. If you've been following along on my channel you'll know that I've used this tritium to power an LED and a small motor. I want to use this tritium in an upcoming project, but I want to create a nice case for it. Last time I just had it taped together with the small solar cells taped uh, directly to the tubes. In case there's somebody that wants to 3D print one of these, I'll share the STL file on Thingiverse. Check the video description for a link to that. This looks a lot nicer uh, than the tape setup I had before, plus it's going to hold it more securely over the long term. So. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. This little tritium power pack is really easy to build and if somebody wants to have a nice uh, long-term alternative power source for a small project, it works pretty good. It's made with just four of these small solar cells uh, from the commonly available uh, solar dancing flowers and then the small tubes of tritium which I purchased on eBay. This is a very low voltage design so the cells are all connected in parallel uh, to provide the maximum amperage. Let's check the voltage and amperage on this. Uh, in an ambient lit room, you can see that we get around one volt and we're in the milliamp range on the amperage. But of course, we're interested in this in a dark setting with no ambient light. So in that sort of a uh, situation, we're down in the microamp range and we're at 1.3 microamps, which if you follow my work, you know that's plenty to power LEDs and run small motors uh, if you build the right designs. And checking here in the voltage, we're just over half a volt. So 0.6 volts at 1.3 microamps. That's perfect for the use case I have in mind. Tritium looks so cool uh, in the dark. I just want to show this glowing pack. I went ahead and put open edges around all the edges so that the glow of the tritium would be visible uh, even though the tritium's inside this case. So I really like how that turned out. And uh, I look forward to sharing with you all the upcoming project that I'm going to put this into. And let's all keep experimenting. We'll see you in the next video.